we see in this day and time the amount of confusion that is being disseminated to the Muslims all over the world to the point that people are not sure whether they are following the truth or not. I want to reinforce and reconfirm and reaffirm and reiterate that we know exactly what the truth is and we are proud to be followers of the truth while admitting that on personal levels our shortcomings are horrible. Our shortcomings are tremendous. Our shortcomings are overwhelming. But that does not mean that we are ever in a state of doubt or confusion about the truth and where it lies. This book that we're covering by Allah's grace is one of the fundamental teachings that disseminate the truth to the average Muslim. And so instead of listening to all these different deviant preachers who are plenty that only tap you on your back and pamper you and tell you love, uh, you know, bedtime stories, bedtime stories, it's beautiful, but that will not have you understand who Allah is in an era where people somehow don't know who Allah is at some point in time, and some of them leave Islam altogether. So the most important pillar that you hold on to, to stay firm on this religion until you meet your Lord is knowing your Lord. I don't think anybody can argue this and I don't think it's rocket science even to a kindergarten child. Knowing Allah is the ultimate key and this book is that embodiment of knowing who Allah Azza wa Jal is according to Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah who are not divided into sects when it comes to their theological beliefs. They are one. And that's the one that we preach. If you accept it and embrace it, you are upon guidance. If you turn away from it and you criticize it, then you are upon deviance. Because what we're preaching is what the Sahaba believed. Had we been preaching what Sheikh Sukumatuku in uh, Tingi Bingi taught, then you could say, Ma'alesh, ruh ballat al bahar you and your Sheikh. Wallah, you have every right to dismiss us. If I put myself as the Sheikh of, of uh, any country in the world and told you, listen to my views, and my views are not in accordance with the early three generations, you should tell me, brother, please shut down your YouTube and shut down your da'wah and shut down everything and go sleep for, uh, like the people of the cave. Like Ashab al-Kahf, don't even wake up. You have the right to do that. And Wallahi, I would. But if we're preaching what they preached, then... We have nothing to be worried about. If someone is preaching something other than that, this is when your alarm should go off and you should be alert. You will see as we go through the book, inshallah, the vast contrast, the vast contrast between what we will learn together and what uh, Western and speakers are teaching you today from bigger platforms than our humble platforms that we have. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe and click on the notification bell. Like, comment, and share with friends and family.